We are now joined by the wonderful Susie Cato, who is here to tell us about the totally awesome Kiwi Kids album, which showcases some of our very best Kiwi children's musicians and entertainers. It's really great to have you here, Susie. Oh, yes. Round of applause for oh, Susie yeah. Cato. One of our faves. Because it feels like you've just been here because you really have just been here. This is your third time <laughs> on the show I'm this year. I'm a bit year. greedy, aren't I? Because <laughs> how on earth, I mean, 2018 has been pretty magnificent for you, hasn't it? Oh, it has been phenomenal. When you think about it, releasing that song with Kath B at the beginning of the year, Dancing with the Stars, whoa. I mean, what a whirlwind that was. Yeah. Left me in a twirl. Um, uh -huh. <laughs> had to be done. And then we took the family away on a Mediterranean trip. So went through all the Mediterranean islands from um, Athens through to Barcelona and then back again to Rome. And then five days in London. So that was amazing. Oh and then came goodness. home and was shoulder tapped. Oh, I forgot to add in there that I also turned 50 in amongst oh, all that lot. Oh, oh and congratulations. Nice. Thank you. Yeah. But shoulder tapped by Sony to make this album and to put this together to present it and it's so exciting to have 25 local artists on this album all great singer songwriters and um, some of the best kept secrets in New Zealand so finally to have us all together and promoting ourselves is brilliant and uh, look, tell us who features on this, because you're right when you say there are some of the best in the country. Yeah, well, you've got your Anika Moore, you've got Craig Smith, Mr Wonky Donkey. Oh, yes. um, some blasts from the past would be the Funky Monkeys from the Waikato. Oh, yeah. Yeah, some brand new ones. We've got Max Patch from um, Kitty Kitty. Uh, we try to cover the whole of the country, so as far south as Dunedin with Rainbow Rosalind, who you've had on. Yeah, we have. And um, Anna Van Riel from Wanaka. Oh, so yeah, how do you choose them? Like, how do you choose the songs? Well, I mean, how do you so, choose how your favourite show? Oh, well, well, exactly. <laughs> Well, we left it to the kids actually. We asked a lot of kids what they wanted to do. We also wanted to make sure that the songs were all upbeat and fun and cover as much of New Zealand as possible. So, what we needed was a great big meld and pot. <laughs> <laughs> actually, that song's not on there, maybe album two. Yeah, <laughs> and, and that's a great thing with an album like this is that not only, you know, special for New Zealand, but a lot of these artists you've got have done superb around the world as oh, well. So this is going been. global. Oh, babe. yeah. Going oh, yeah. global. Yes, please. Yeah. <laughs> Dancing with the Stars for you. I mean, how was that? Was that did that open a whole lot of doors for you? Do you think? Like, oh, it, it certainly has. Reopened it. doors. Reacquainted me with the an audience that grew up watching me, who are now um, inviting me to speak at public events. Yeah, and, cult following. Yeah, yeah. Susie Cato. Yeah, no I one got does the sense, like Susie Cato. Yeah. No, and that was the thing, Susie. I got the sense watching you through Dancing with the Stars that you didn't realise how much love and babysitting, clearly, that you had yeah. done over the generations and how much Kiwis loved you. Yes. You were very humble about it. It was like you didn't realise. We knew that the programme was doing really well, like you and me and Susie's world, because the amount of um, correspondence that we had. And all the live shows that I did, um, I would do an a interactive live show and then have a photo of an opportunity. So like Santa, I'd sit there and try not to tickle kids with my beard as they came and sat on my knee. <laughs> <laughs> Shave every morning. <laughs> and, um, and you knew that that was doing really, really well, but you had no idea that it would have the longevity because we're not on air anymore. Right. Mm. You'd only find us on DVD on my website and <laughs> on, on, on YouTube. And the thing is too is that you've got probably people that grew up watching you. Yeah. Now probably some of them will have kids themselves. Yes. Yeah. That's a little bit terrifying. Ah, I feel like this is doubt fire occasion. Oh, yeah. Pull the support hose up a little higher and away we go. <laughs> yeah. When did it all start for you? Was it radio? Yeah, it was. A radio in Whangarei. I grew up in Kaikoi and um, we had work experience um, in my sixth form year and there were lots of opportunities, the bank, the supermarkets and things like that. But by the time I worked out what I wanted to do, those opportunities were all gone so I had to think, look further afield. So tried my hand at radio and yeah, I loved the idea of being able to communicate and reaching people. Mm. And television does that so very well as well. Yeah, it does. So 2018, incredible for you. What's 2019 going to bring mm -hmm. to Susie Cato? Well, I wouldn't say Dancing with the Stars, but um, a whole lot of other projects have come up. So we're, it's early days and I can't say too much, otherwise I might have to do away with you, but I won't yeah. do that. Um, <laughs> but um, yeah, some exciting things on the way and more of the album and, and Kiwi Kids Music. KiwiKidsMusic.co.nz is where you'll find these amazing artists and 
the music they're creating is incredible. Oh, that's fantastic. Oh, it's such a delight having you in the studio. Thank you. Yeah, and congratulations. Pleasure. What a superb idea for an album, too. All yeah. the best. And on time album. for Christmas, too. Yeah. Exactly. Susie Cato presents the totally awesome Kiwi Kids album, and it's available right now. You can check out Susie's website as well to see all of the other things that she is up to. And stick around, too, as Susie is going to be performing. We're all going to have some fun for us very soon. Yeah, don't go anywhere. That song will get stuck in your Straight head. Ahead. We love it already.